Scorpio, this is Christelle Martinat with another reading for the week starting the 29th of February. And I have here a deck of Angel Tarot. It's an Italian produced deck. And um, the Vera Sibilla cards here, another Italian deck. And the a set of runes here that I made was my first set actually made from maple slices. These are cards that I pre-shuffled, but I will just, for the record, give it another go here. And we'll see what's in store for you. I remember saying last week that it was a week that announced changes for the upcoming three or four weeks. So let's see what's in store for you. Um, well, it looks like you've made a, a number of decisions here, and or, or you are about to make decisions. It seems, though, that things have been decided, and uh, you're gathering, you're really gathering all of the force that you have and coming into your own. Now, it's interesting for me to see that much of, all of this strength comes from your emotions, the strength of your emotions, as if you're seeing them for the first time in your life. You're gathering all of those, um, uh, the, 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 the negativity that, that may have characterized you up till now. They are grouped together and you're getting rid of that. The uh, leftover debris that I'm seeing is, a, um, is our, the, the regrets. In, in the romantic emotional department, there are regrets, but they too are grouped together in this in this in these uh, angel wings uh, under the angel wings, and they're carried away. Now um, there is a uh, as if you were on a mission, uh, a mission of truth. You know, uh, I, I'm seeing Superman in front of me, and you know, for the truth, justice, and the American way, you know, the, the saying that under Superman, when those used to be in the 60s, they used to be broadcast on national television in the United States. Well, you're on a mission. You're on a mission, and it's a truth mission. And here, too, I feel that you have the, um, you're bringing together all of those, um, uh, those passionate burdens, because I'm, I'm calling them, you know, it's an, almost an oxymoron, passionate burdens, because you were so full of passion, but it was as if you didn't give vent to the passions, and what was left was burdensome, heavy debris. I'm going to, going to call it debris, but this seems to be the week that you're going to come into your own with the power that you have. The first, the entry card here is the strength card. There you go. Next to that is the King of Cups. First of a series, then Ace of Cups. Beautiful fountain. Lots of water here. Lots of water. The Page of Cups. And you are offering. Now, what is this? The focus card here, an interesting focus card here, is the Seven of um, Swords. And the Seven of Swords being grouped together. The Seven of Swords that are no more. There are no more deceptions. You know, they're being grouped together and taken away. Here there's that um, shadow side of regrets that will follow you for good deal of time and the page of wands uh, sorry the page of swords the ten of wands and this lovely emperor this worldly power now uh, mind you when uh, you know I most of you know that I'm a linguist, and, and linguists usually, to analyze language, they first go to see what's missing, what's not there. 
Why isn't it there? And, and in this conversation, I'm seeing what's missing, the magician, okay? Because when I see the emperor, I say, hmm, that's a worldly power. The magician is not here. What does this mean for you, um, uh, Scorpio? It means that you're of this world now with worldly thoughts and ways to make amends and proffer romance, proffer your emotions, opening to emotions. The missing magician is making anything go your way. It's no longer possible. It's a matter of interaction here. I'm going to take the Vida Sibila on um, a good number of these cards and starting with the uh, two swords, the um, five of swords, then the seven of swords. This deck two was pre-shuffled. I'll give it another go. Oh, okay, the Five of Swords, those uh, regrets. What are the Sibylla telling me? There has been Sierra man thinking, Domestico, the house domestic, and a uh, Donna di Servizio. Now, it's interesting that these two have come out, both the female and the male domestic, so that is a lot of help. It's a male version of help. It's a female version of help. And this tells me that... Um, a few things. Most of all is that your very balanced, your male and female side are very balanced sides, are very balanced, and, um, and they are making you reconsider. This could be a female or a man. They're making you reconsider what you um, have been doing. I mean, these are regrets. What have you done? All right, now, there's also another side to these domestic, um, these both uh, house domestics. Uh, whereas the female side of uh, the story, of the Vera Sibilla story, is a helping hand, someone who will always inevitably bring you gifts of intuition, gifts of knowledge, gifts of self-understanding, the male domestic sides with you, sides with you, helps if you want to deceit, he will help you deceit. If you want to pull the wool over someone's eyes, they will pull the wool over someone's eyes. If you want to hide something, they will hide something for you. Okay. Now, uh, what is happening to you is a mixture of these two, um, where you're trying to find the balance. It seems that this is the past position, you know, has, as you have been acting, the future position, what you are looking for, and you're still thinking. Okay, you're still thinking. This is interesting because it's about the regrets that are not easily um, removed from our psyche. Now, the Seven of uh, Swords in the middle as a focus card. I have here Fidelity, the card, Fidelta. So speedy, sighs, finally. You know, it has works two ways, sigh, sighing that, oh my God, when are they? When is it going to happen? Or sighing, oh, finally, it's happening. And Speranza, hoping. Now here too, you have a little bit of both. Oh my God, when it's happened, how come it ha It took so long? And when is it going to happen? And yes, now is the time to finally make it happen. All right, this is what's on your mind with the Seven of Swords. This Fidelity card here talks to a situation from your past because you're still faithful to that situation, regardless of the seven of swords, regardless of the five of swords. And, you know, this may be a turning point. Like I said, last week was the beginning. This week is the first of three. It is moving in that direction. So you may be jet rocketed into a situation that is not common for you. Um, hold on, because this just may find you in a place that you didn't expect to be. Um, and, and you're going there as if just ushered you know, it's interesting to see this. And it's happening to many of the signs, but in all different ways. I'm going to take a look, you know, just to finish with the swords. I'm going to take a look at the page of swords and what the page of swords wants. Because the page of swords is emerging with some form of truth. What are the truths? All right, first of all, we have the gifts, omaggio di preziosi, which are also suggestions, but they can work as obstacles. And they 
next to the amalato, the sick person, the ill person, is speaking to obstacles in the past position of a loved one, of a, lo of a lover, sorry, who, who is you, male or female, Scorpio. So you see, the um, page of swords is telling us that what ha needs to be emerged is what did not in the past. Then we have this, um, I'll get to the page of cups later, this ten of wands. Ah, interesting. Ten of wands right next to the page of swords. And who do we find here? We find the female lover, which was the opposite of the other, so the sexes are reversed. We find the reunion, the meeting, and we find the military. It seems as if it's not going to happen, or it's under the surface, or it may be a surprise. But Scorpio, listen here. Um, this is fine, good and well and dandy, all right? But when we talk about the reunion card, there is a female here sitting, and the male is next to her, and it's as if he's telling her, oh, come on, come with me. Let's go together into the sunset. You know, he's coaxing her. And this military also says, it's not very likely that she'll follow you. You know, beware. So there are many levels of reading here because the military is, um, um, is mirroring the uh, female lover. I'm going to take now the um, Vera Sibilla on the last card, the, the, Fante, the, the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, the Page of Cups proffering a cup, is the Amica friend, um, always a positive card, Harmony, the doctor and the letter. Now, the doctor can be a professional, can be a scientist, can be a doctor, can be a person, a caretaker. It can be someone who has your best interests in mind. And the, um, the, 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 the action proffering the cup is a positive action. It is sort of a knowledge olive branch. And the idea here that you have, Scorpio, is to make contact. Now, I'm going to take the, um, my runes, my um, set of runes, to see if they can add to this. Okay. All right. Well, you know, they all turned out upside down except three. And the three. I'll first read the three, then I'll read the rest. Okay. No, the four, because we have weird right next to that. All right. We have smack in the middle, Sohilo, which is the success, the sun. It's shining. All right. This is extremely interesting. And the other that is in line from right to left is Dieg, which is a, a, an extremely important positive um, transformation in your life, the most, most important transformation in your life in this period. Weird next to that. And uh, Isa, so these together form a conversation. They're saying, look, you're poised for success. You're poised to meet up with your, um, I don't want to say destiny. I don't like to use that word. You're, you're poised to meet, meet up with something that was, we're card readers, in the cards. There was something in the cards for you. You're poised to meet up with that. And it is a moment that has been prepared for you, um, subconsciously by you, in order for you to distinguish yourself from the pack. All right, I am not like any other woman. I am not like any other man. I stand alone. I may have my quirks, but I am me. And here I am standing in front of you. This is what the runes are saying. And this is what is going to be, you're going to be catapulted in that, in that position that, you know, and I'm laughing because it's maybe something that's out of your, you know, power. And you may find yourself in that. Now, let me turn over the other runes and look at that conversation, the conversations. All right, the added rune to the middle conversation is Hagal. And that puts a, um, a um, how can I say, it puts a very deep, very important um, hedge on all of that conversation, on that transformation, on that distinction. It is the underlying basis of your very being, your very essence. And not only that, it's not going to happen in one day. It's not going to happen in two. It's not going to happen in this week. It's going to happen over a period of time, and you're going to have to bear up to that and 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 seed, plant your seeds for that. Now, before that, I have this a conversation here, and 
the way it is, I have Ansus Merksteva, I have this beautiful Gifu, which is a gift, which is a, a relationship, and I also have um, uh, Manat's uh, Merksteva. Now, what they're telling me is there's no communication. There's absolutely no communication with the person you have in mind or persons that you have in mind. There is no communication. And that communication, even though you, it is headed toward a relationship, a sort of contract, a sort of, you know, it's almost as if you're, you don't want to talk about a relationship. So you said, hey, listen, how about if we see each other twice a week? How about if, if we make an agreement to see each other once a month? How, how much is good for you? You know, almost as if you want to get your, yourself out of the difficulty of speaking in emotional terms. It's very, very odd this, but it's very clear to me. Then we talked about the middle conversation and the last conversation is quite interesting because it, it says that all of this with Lagos and Lagas, Lagas, Lagus, or and Pedro, which is uh, Merck's Dave, they are saying that it will all happen in a very natural way, despite the fact that we talk to be about being catapulted in a new situation, because hindsight is twenty twenty. You look back one day and you'll say, my goodness, that period really, boy, did I change. But it will seem to you very natural. It will seem to you very flowing. It will seem to you as if it's the natural course of events. Before your very eyes, you won't even know that you are changing. It's as if you have no memory. You know, those. Uh, we, 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 our soul has clouded memory. Our soul removes the memory for survival. You know, it's sort of little packs that the soul makes with itself in order for it to survive in this human um, emotional situation because it doesn't know how to act sometimes. So it resets and it's a clouded memory. And that's what Mer um, Pedro Merckstave is telling me. I do hope um, a Scorpio that this has helped in some way. And I wish you the best for that week and the weeks to come. It was a pleasure to read for you. Bye-bye. Till we read again, Scorpio.